Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. For many, finding a best friend and a mate is exactly what they're looking for in a relationship. But the question is, how transparent should you be? Should couples tell each other everything? Mm. <laughs> Here to help us explore this topic is our mental health expert and our sister spirit. Thank you so much for being here. Always, always, oh, oh, this, this is love. real this is juicy. This is a Come real good one. I, 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 I got some questions yeah, lined up, but I'm gonna wait my turn. <laughs> no, 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 only ask what you really want the answers to, because most people can't handle the truth mm, when it comes ooh. to this one. Okay. See, okay. Which, which brings us to should you know everything with that whole handling the truth? And we all know I have a fianchi, okay. and I'm about to get married. Real soon. Okay. But I kind of feel like I don't need to know everything that happened in his past per se, because mm -hmm. he had a he had a life before me. Mm -hmm. Right. But I feel like we should really have open conversation and tell each other things that happen within the confines of our relationship because I don't think anyone should be able to tell me anything about my life, my relationship, and my situation with him before anybody else does. I should know. That I can't part. have anybody come to me telling me something I don't know about yeah. us or we that or part. him. And so, yeah. uh, <laughs> no, you're absolutely right on that. And the other part, so I was going to say, definitely that premarital counseling piece mm -hmm. is super important because premarital counseling will help you guys figure out not just the right now, but the future. Mm -hmm as well mm -hmm. and you want to have a plan before you get there but that other part about I shouldn't have anybody else telling me anything mm -hmm. about him that is absolutely a one Ain't it on. yes yes, yes. yes ma'am yes ma'am <laughs> we always know about the why you mm -hmm. know we always know why we should talk to our people you know it seems like the right thing to do all yeah. the time but we never really get into the how. Mm -hmm. um, That's good. How me. do we effectively communicate with our better half, mm -hmm. even especially when it's something that we know that it's not going to be favorable yeah. mm -hmm. okay. on your side? Okay, so this is, listen, <laughs> one major rule that I always tell couples <laughs> is that you have to remember that you are a team 100% mm -hmm. of the time, mm -hmm. even when it's bad. And so you cannot make your partner on the, up, on the opposite side of that. You are not the problem and your partner is not the problem. The problem is the problem and mm. it's up to the two of you to work together to solve that to problem, solve problem, no matter that's what good. the problem is. It took both of yourself. you, that's right, it took both of you to get that situation to where it is. So you have to see your role in it, you have to figure out the solution and remember we're always on the same team. Mm. That's good. You know, that's good, yeah. <sighs> Communication is key, it, mm -hmm. it really is. But mm -hmm. how much information is too much information? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I got another B part. Okay, so listen, listen, I say that there never, it, it is never about too much information. It is about where you are as a couple. And you mm -hmm. can't just go from zero to 60 overnight. So okay. if we didn't start off telling each other everything, we can't sit down and go, let's just air out everything mm -hmm. today. Because okay. you're not gonna be ready for that. Okay. You have mm -hmm. to learn how to build up to transparency. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is the, the key here. Mm -hmm. And the other thing to remember is, no matter how long you hold on to something, understand that when your partner hears it, that is the first time. So if you're saying, I had an affair 10 years ago, understand that it's new to them today and you will be dealing with it like it just happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you convey a, your message clearly and concisely to a person that is very sensitive in mm -hmm. receiving information? Mm -hmm. uh, some people are hypersensitive, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. a bit judgmental in their approach. How do you do that? Well, you know, it's not necessarily about conveying your message. It's about making sure that the message is understood. Your girls is telling me. Listen, the, listen, the, listen, the, I think it, it wasn't the word. I'm not laughing. I'm, I'm not I'm just chuckling wildly. The way you just very inquisitive. Okay, listen. So I got this. I got this. And you raise a, a critical point. The thing is that couples have to know how to communicate. And so it's not just about sending the message, but it's about also making sure that the receiver gets it. And so you have to have traffic. You have to decide, when I tell you something, I don't need for you to just jump in and respond to it, but I need for you to tell me what you think you heard. Mm -hmm. So that we're on the same page mm -hmm. throughout the entire communication. The what you think you heard approach right. is good. Because, <laughs> hey, listen, what did you hear me say? Because I can yeah. say something to you, and then all of a sudden you want to argue with me but before you go ahead and tell me your position on it tell me what you think you heard me That's say good. so that we're truly on the same page right. and so that I'm making sure that you're responding to my intention and Why not just my words or yes. not your perception right. 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 Mm -hmm. because right. see, you can hear something and go no 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 that's not what I'm trying to communicate mm -hmm. to you mm -hmm. you got hung up on that word mm -hmm. but my meaning is over here of what I'm really wanting to talk mm -hmm. to so you tell about me and what then you in the, think I right said. and then in the same breath how come some people always you have to 
they want to make sure you understand how they feel. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like, is, is that fair? Like, <laughs> I'd <don't know. laughs> say no. Like, what if I don't want to know? I mean, okay, you felt that way, I felt this way. Can we move on? Look, you can't move on. No. And the reason for it, <laughs> you can't move on. I'm sorry, I told you, don't ask if you won't want to know. You right. cannot this move on rude. because here's the thing. Here's the thing. You, you, it is more about how you make somebody feel than what they think, right? And yes. so Maya told us a long time ago, we will never. What you come on, they, they but they remember how, how you feel. make them feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when somebody tells you that you hurt them, you don't get to decide that you didn't. Right. Mm-hmm. And so if you just hurt them and then try to move on to what it is that you want, mm-hmm. your agenda, you lost them way back there way when you wounded them. them. Oh. So yeah. you Tri- always <laughs> have to respond to the wound. Triage first, then solution Ooh. later. Come on, take them. Well, we're going to find out more about this triage. Uh, when we come back, we'll have more spirit. Yes, right I got more she questions. She was face when she said, she said, oh, yeah. We are back with our good friend Spirit, and the conversation is so good. Uh, we're talking about, yes, we're talking about, you know, telling everything in relationships. Should you or should you not? So if you tell everything, mm-hmm. What happens after that? It can be over. <laughs> Listen, if you tell everything, the idea of it is not I'm telling so that we're breaking up or so there's consequence. It's I'm telling you everything so we're always on the same page. And so really telling everything is not about what happened in the past. It's about in the context of your relationship. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And people will govern themselves <laughs> differently mm-hmm. when they know that there is complete accountability. Mm-hmm. If you have your partner's passwords, if you can use your partner's cell phone uh, at any given time, mm-hmm. if you know who who your partner's friends are, where you are, how you behave. Do you govern yourself differently? Mm -hmm. And so I always tell couples, if it's something that you wouldn't do in the presence of your partner, then it's probably something you shouldn't be doing in their absence. And most people can't handle that. Let me ask you this, Spirit. What if you know that your your better half, Mm -hmm. it may not be, or sometimes the the better half may not be evolved Mm -hmm. emotionally, Mm -hmm. and you know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, And you might be at a place where you feel like even if they tell you everything, you could be okay with Mm -hmm. it, but you know that they probably will not. Right. Should you still wait, hold it, how do you handle that? That's a great question. What I would say is, yeah, that's a goal to work towards. You have to decide the kind of relationship that you want to be in. So if you want to be in a relationship where you can tell your partner everything, but they're not there yet, that's again, that's a problem for the two of you to work on as a team. Mm -hmm. This is a a place where, babe, you're not there, but I really want to be able to tell you everything. And I want to know you can receive it. And this is how I want us to rock when we do that. Build to that, work towards that, and don't enable that poor behavior by simply going, they can't handle that. I'm just not holding on to it. How, how do you tell mm-hmm. someone that they're just too sensitive? Well, see, anytime you say too, it means... Not too sensitive. Too, you know, too just... means you're too much. Really, it is, I would like to see you be different. And understand, it's not that they're too much. They're too much for you. Mm-hmm. So really, it's a reflection of how you feel. It has nothing Ooh. to do with them. Mm-hmm. So yeah. when they're pushing and poking, what is it that they are raising up in you? Wow. What is it that makes well, you go, this doesn't in rock? Me, but I'm just Oh, yeah. okay. Just in general. Well, we want to thank you. For <laughs> if you want to hear more of this greatness, please follow her at Talk to Spirit. Thank you so much for being here. Great show.